So we start off with the uh, Kenyan election. Let's go live straight away to the Electoral Commission uh, announcement in Nairobi. And for those who will come, we have prepared for you what the constitution envisaged from us, an independent electoral commission. So I just want to thank the staff of IBC, the soldiers who braved insults, harassment, and delivered right from the constituencies to the counties and up to the National Training Center. I want to thank stakeholders, state and non-state stakeholders who have worked with us on this journey, and more particularly the members of the diplomatic community and the religious leaders who have been keeping vigil at this center for the last three days. They have been here throughout 24 hours a day. So Kenyans came out and voted on the 9th of August, and these are the results of what they the will of the Kenyan people reflects these results are in the public portal. The same results which I'm reading here are the ones in the public portal. So there are four presidential candidates. These are the aggregated results. Odinga Raila, total valid votes. 6,942,930. And this represents 48.85%. Of the votes garnered, and he achieved the number of counties the candidate attained with at least 25% of the total valid votes cast in 34 counties. Yeah. Ruto William Samoy, number of valid votes, 7 million. This represents 50.49 percent. And he achieved the minimum number of 39 counties. David Maure, number of valid votes in figures that 1,907. That represents 0.23 percent. Number of counties with a minimum of 25 percent, zero. Wajakoya George Luchiri, 61,969. Those are valid votes. Percentage of votes cast 0.44%. And the uh, uh, number of counties uh, with a minimum of 25% attained zero. So, in accordance with the law, the constitution and the law. I was full of Chepukati, chairperson of the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission, hereby declares that Ruto William Samoe ID number 6847208 has been duly elected as the president <laughs> of
of the Republic of Kenya under the provisions of Article 138 of the Constitution in the presidential election held on 9th of day of August 2022. And I'll proceed to sign the certificate. I invite the president-elect to come forward and receive his certificate. So there you have it, uh, the Kenyan election chief declaring William Ruto winner of the presidential race. Uh, just under 7 million votes for Raila Odinga, just over 7 million votes for William Ruto. Very close run thing. William Ruto is president-elect, but... But will it be accepted? We've already seen uh, chaotic scenes at the Electoral Commission at the Tally Centre there, uh, where William Ruto is uh, receiving congratulations for his uh, for winning the election. The question is, what is going to happen next? Let's listen in again. Is the deputy president elect? Thank you. I invite. Uh, I invite. Uh, the president-elect to make his remarks. And thank you, Kenyans, for having a peaceful election. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Asante Nisana. Um, your Excellencies, Ambassadors, and High Commissioners present, your Lordships, the Bishops, and members of the clergy in the Republic of Kenya, my good Deputy Rigavi Gashagwa, distinguished members of the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission, led by Chairman Wafula Chebukati, uh, fellow countrymen and women, good evening. It is a wonderful evening. And I want to thank God that we are here this evening to witness this momentous occasion as the people of Kenya restate what is in Article 1 of the Constitution of Kenya, that all sovereign power belong to the people of Kenya. I want to thank God for getting us to this point. I want to thank God that today we have concluded this election. I know that there were predictions that I won't get to the ballot. There were predictions that we wouldn't get here. But because there is a God in heaven, we are here. And I want to, in a very special way, say and confess 
that without God, we wouldn't have been here. My gratitude also goes to the people of Kenya. The millions who listened to us. The millions who participated in our campaigns peacefully. The millions who turned up to vote for us on 9th of August. And the millions who have waited patiently until this announcement has been made. Specifically, I want to thank my fellow countrymen and women because we have raised the bar in this election. Jointly, we have raised the bar. This election was much about the issues than the ethnic configurations that have always informed our elections. Gratitude goes to the millions of Kenyans who refused to be boxed into tribal cocoons. I am a very proud Kenyan this evening that the people of Kenya have raised the bar on us who are seeking leadership in our country. Not to sell our ethnicities, but to sell our programs, our manifestos, our agenda, and our plan. Let me also say right at the start that in here, and in this election, there are no losers. The people of Kenya have won because we have raised the political bar. I want to say that the people of Kenya, led by the 14 million who turned up to vote, are the biggest winners. The hero of this election is the IEBC, <laughs> led by Wafula Chebukati. I say this with conviction that the IEBC amazed all of us. With the results in the public portal, the, all the servers were open. <laughs> and everybody, all you needed is a simple calculator, and you would have the results. I want to congratulate the IEBC for raising the bar. <laughs> and I want to say, without fear of any contradiction, that one Wafula Bugatti is our hero. <laughs> Soft-spoken, but firm. And I want to tell you, Mr. Chairman, we are very proud that, without informing any one of us, you put all the results from all the polling stations on a public portal where any Kenyan could access. That became the game changer in this election. <laughs> Let me also, at this point in time, thank our partners, the religious leaders, who were part of this process right from the beginning. For the first time, we saw religious leaders spend time at this Starling Center and prayed for this process. I am sure their prayers will not be in vain. I also want to thank our development partners, 
our diplomatic community, and all the observers who came in their thousands to be part and parcel of the process right from almost two weeks ago to its conclusion in this auditorium. To all of them, I tell them the people of Kenya are eternally grateful that you took your time, valuable time, to watch over this process so that the right thing can happen. I want to thank my worthy competitor, the Honorable Rai Laudinga, for a campaign that we all dwelt on issues and we tried to sell an agenda to the people of Kenya. I want to promise that I will work with all elected leaders and all leaders in Kenya so that we can fashion a country that leaves nobody behind. <laughs> what the people of Kenya have done, they have assigned us responsibilities. There will be those of us who will be in the executive, but there will be those of us who will oversee what we do in the executive both responsibilities in government and in the opposition are important for the people of Kenya. I want to promise the people of Kenya that I will run a transparent, open, democratic government. And I will work with the opposition to the extent that they provide oversight over my administration. Let me also, at this point in time, acknowledge my boss, the President of the Republic of Kenya. His Excellency Uhuru Kenyatta who has worked with me over the last 10 years in various forms. And I want to commit to the people of Kenya that I will build on the foundation that President Kenyatta and I put together and take this country to the next level. I want to promise all the people of Kenya, whichever way they voted, that this will be their government. I know many are wondering, especially those who have done many things against us. I want to tell them that they have nothing to fear. There is no room. There is nothing. There is no room for vengeance. There is no room for looking back. We are looking into the future. I am acutely aware that our country is at a stage where we need all hands on deck to move it forward. We do not have the luxury to look back. We do not have the luxury to point fingers. We do not have the luxury to apportion blame. We must close ranks and work together for a functioning, democratic, prosperous Kenya.
I want to thank the members of my team. Starting with my wife and family. And many other prayer warriors in Kenya. And I want to confess that I have been prayed into victory. It is not our effort. And my team knows. We were working against the odds, many odds at that. But I must confess that it is God who brought us this victory.